At the beginning of this week's parasha, Vayetze, we read Vayetze Yaakov me Beershava that Yaakov left Beersheva Vayele Harana, and he went to the region of Haran. Why was it necessary to say that he left? Couldn't the Pasuk just have informed us that he went towards Haran? Explains Rashi, she yitziat tzadik min that when a tzaddik leaves a place, it makes an impression on that place. Shebizman shat tzadik ba'ir hu ahoda hu ziva hu hadara. That as long as the righteous person is there, he is the glory, the splendor, and the beauty of that location. However, yatsamisham penahoda penah ziva penah hadara. But when he leaves, that splendor, that glory, that beauty, beauty leaves with him. However, on this Midrash, the Oznayim Latora Reb Zalman Saratskin has a comment that's so very true. He notes in the name of his son that it's specifically Yitziat Tzadik Minamakom. When a tzaddik leaves a place, that the people begin to understand how important he was to that place. But while he is there, very often people take it for granted that we have an obligation, in essence, to recognize how people in our communities add to our communities the glory, the splendor, the beauty they bring to the communities while they are in the, our communities, and not just bemoan the fact that they have left and taken with them all of their strengths and all of their powers and all of their abilities. This is something that, unfortunately, People didn't recognize at the time that Yaakov Avinu lived in Beersheva. But it is something that we can change by being makir tov, recognizing the goodness that HaKadosh Baruch Hu grants us with the presence of those people who add so very much to our lives. So that we don't have to say only be it siyat tzaddik, that when the tzaddik leaves, oy, what we lost but we can instead proclaim when the tzaddik is with us, oh, how wonderful it is what we have.